When you're making maps that cover many different areas, it's often the case that some parts of your map are quite small and hard to read, and you might want to enlarge them. The UK political map is a good example of this because in London, there's lots of small constituencies and they can be hard to see. So in this map layer, coloured by political party, that's certainly the case. The London ones are quite hard to see, as well as some others. Well, let's focus on London here. So if I turn the layer off, I will turn the layer on that I've prepared. And as you can see, I've moved London out of its actual place into some white space and I've enlarged it. If we double click the layer to open the layer properties, we can see in the symbology, I've used party name to categorize it and I've applied some colors. But if we go to the end of the symbol color patch and click it, we can see configure symbol and I have applied a geometry generator here. Now, let me explain this. If I click on the expression button, we can see that I'm saying in cases when the English region column in the data set equals London, then use this thing called an affine transform. And what it's doing is the three and the three are making greater London three times its normal size. The zero, that's just about rotation, but we're not rotating it at all, so it's zero. And these numbers, minus 850,000 and minus 350,000, these are meters, and we're moving London's position around using these. So if I did minus 75,000 meters instead, and clicked OK, OK, and apply, you can see what happens. So let me click it again, configure symbol, geometry generator. So because I've got a column containing the region for each area, I am able to move just London. The else geometry thing means for everything else, just use its original geometry. So I'll share that expression in the, in the, uh, in the video description and hopefully you'll find that useful.